Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews. Doing another video today. Today's video, yes, I'm going to give you my first impressions slash 24 hours with the LG V30. But before I do that, check this out. So okay everyone, so I've been having the LG V30 for about 24 hours now. So in this video, I'm going to just give you my first impressions, go over a couple setup things that I did when I first set up the phone, and also give you some things I like about the phone, and maybe one or two things I don't like. So far, there's not many I don't like about the phone, but again, it's only been 24 hours, so you definitely, you know, that might increase later on once you start using the phone a little bit. But one thing, the definitely the build quality, man, look at it. Yes, it does attract fingerprints, but it, it, it's built very well. Feels really good. Like I said, you can hold it with one, one hand, no problem. You can get to the fingerprint scanner, which is another quick thing. I'm, I'm going to show you how quick that actually works too. But a couple things I, I didn't mention in the last video. For the V-Series, this is the first time they made it water-resistant. So it's actually IP68 water resistant. So if you want to go swimming with it, you can. Take a shower with it, you can. If you just want to dump some water on your phone, you, you can do that also. And then also, I mean, I don't know if you don't see it at the top or the bottom, but there's no uh, secondary display. LG got rid of it. They do have what they call the floating bore, which kind of acts like a second screen or edge screen. I will show you all that in this video also. But I'm going to start with the cameras really fast. Like I said in the other video, there's a 5 megapixel camera in the front. And then a 16 and a 13 megapixel in the rear. But let's go into the camera settings really quick. And we can go there. Bam, there you go. You can see there's different options you can shoot in. You can shoot all the way up to 4K. And then you have 1080p 60 frames per second. Or you have 1080p with 30 frames per second. You can all... Always do 720 if you want to. Um, you have HDR, you have track and focus, you have uh, steady recording, which only works in um, 1080p, 30 frames per second, and, and I believe 60 frames, but definitely it's not available in 4K. You can tag your locations, you can add, add a signature to your picture, which definitely helps out sometimes. So, I mean, the settings are there. If you look at the picture size, there you go, you can do a 16 megapixel all the way down to a 12 with a one by one. So, many different options in here. You have different modes too. You have auto, manual, you have manual video, you have the new feature, the send video, which I'm gonna do in, um, in another video, show you how that works. You can do Snapchat, uh, grid shot, guide shot, so there's slow motion. I mean, there's many different options that you can actually do modes you can have if you want to do different uh filters on there so there's many different things with the camera app let me pause the video for a little bit i'm gonna show you some pictures that i took earlier today y'all let me know how that looks and i'll be right back Okay, everyone, that was some photos I took with the LG V30. Um, Y'all let me know how it looks, how, you know, the pictures look, how the front-facing camera was on the one uh, selfie picture I took. But I think the cameras are pretty good. I'm a little, little unimpressed with the low lights, but, you know, it may get better. I have to do more testing on it. One thing I want to show you everybody really quick, here's the regular lens, and then you can actually do the wide-angle lens. Bam, you can see you got a lot more of my desk in there. And then you go back. That's pretty cool. LG's known for it. It actually works really well. But that's enough with the cameras. One thing I want to get into is the fingerprint scanner. Hopefully, I don't get trolled. But people always asking me about fingerprints, how quick it is, and how does it actually unlock the phone, how, how easy it is set up. So I'm going to try to add a finger. And let's see. So it tells you to move your finger. And there you go. I mean, that was quick, easy to set up. Let's try to lock your phone. You lock it. Bam, it's unlocked. Lock it again. The fingerprint scanner works really good. It's easy to find. You don't have to worry about stretching way up to the top. 
So, I mean, as you can tell, I'm unlocking it pretty quick. So, there you go. Fingerprints work. One thing, too, I mentioned is the lock screen. You have many different options that you can unlock your screen. There you go with my uh, HTC U11 with focus. You have face recognition. You can unlock it with your voice. You have smart lock, which is also pretty cool. So you can actually have it all set up. I have the pattern and then I also have the fingerprint and the face recognition all at one time. So that's a great thing that LG has. Yes, another thing I wanna go into is the themes. You can tell I have a theme on it now. It looks really nice. Looks pretty cool. And they actually have some themes that re uh, ready. Let me go into settings really quick. And bam, there you go. But you have some recommend recommendations there. You have also some new ones, which are free. But if you go into this app, let's go back. I'm not going to go into a 24. Let's see where it's at. LG World. If you go into the LG World app, they actually have themes that you could download. That's where I found this one at. It does take a little while to load. But the, the Smart World app is pretty cool. So if you wanted some more themes, you can go in there. You have even uh, VR on your palm. So definitely a nice thing to have too. I know in one comment I was reading, can you hide the home buttons? Let me see if I can find that really quick. Bam. Let's see. Display. I have So you can actually um, change the button combinations. You can actually add it if you want to. If you want to put your notifications up here, bam, there you go. I just moved it up. So if you see at the bottom, you have notifi uh, notifications. You can actually choose or hide the home touch buttons while using the apps. So if you slide over, all right. So you have different apps you can try to um, actually hide the buttons on. I have it on Google Play Music, Gmail. You can do calculator. I mean, there's all, I haven't tried all of them yet, but I guess I can try to hide them. So if I go to Google, let's go Google Music. I can't play any music, but I can go into the app. And you can see that the uh, home button goes away and you can just swipe up and they're there. So it goes away. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to go in there and all right. So you have them. You can download, download it. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet too. Okay. So I was mentioning the second screen. Yeah, they don't have one. This year they're doing what they call the floating bar. Let me go into the settings really quick. And I can actually show you that. There you go. You can see you have the option to actually turn it on. And if you want to turn it off, you just turn it off, turn it on. But you can actually change the shortcuts. You have screen capture. You have music player. And you, then you also have quick contacts. You just hold that down. If you want to change it, you can change it to whatever. You just hold this down. And you can change it to whatever you want to. So if I want to change this to Android Wear or any other application like Calculator, bam, there's changes and you can have it on there. So let's get out of here. I actually have it um, saved. So it's at the bottom. There you go. You can see if you want to do the calculator, it's up there. Bam, just like that. You can actually move this little arrow anywhere you want to. So it's almost like an edge screen type of thing. I mean, if you want to keep it, is great. I'm, I'm going to use it for now. I don't know how it's going to do with the battery life or not, but you can move it out the way. Hey, there's your secondary display. A couple other things really quick I want to go into settings for. You can actually um, go into the sound. Let's go into sound. All right, so sound. This uh, LG is always known for having a great uh, DAC for your headphones. And I'm going to tell you something now. I plugged some beats into this thing and it sounded great. Yes, I actually have some wire ones. I don't have any headphones now, but it sounded great with it uh, activated. If you turn it off, you can definitely hear the different uh, sounds coming from it. I should have some headphones now, but I don't. So it actually sounds great. One thing I was mentioning, like some things I don't like about it is the speaker at the bottom. It sounds loud, but 
Um, Alan was mentioning in the stream yesterday. I don't know if it sounds muffled or not. I'm going to test it some more. I, I tested it outside today, and it just sounded, I mean, it was loud. It just didn't sound like the clearest. But what I'm going to do is comparison between the Note 8 and maybe the HTC U11 or the LG, V20, LG uh, G6 or something or the Essential Phone. Just to test the speakers out. And we can see, you know, if it sounds that horrible or not. But definitely, you know, overall the phone has been really great. I mean, I won't say really great. It's been really good so far. It's been running smooth. Um, it has some features on there. It's not stock Android, you know, or it's not like as many features as maybe the Note 8 has. But it definitely has some of, you know, the features on there. I do like the small settings. I actually have it turned off. But you can turn these on where, you know, if you come home, the sound will either go off or on. I use this sometimes when I'm going to work. It, it will vibrate and everything. It changes to vibrate. So that way I don't have to worry about turning my phone down at work because, you know, we're not supposed to have the phone out. So that's pretty cool. The floating bar is good. It has gaming. You can read that too if my uh, HTC will focus. There you go. I have all that turned on too. Um, the storage is pretty good. I have 22 gigs used out of the 64. The battery's going down. You also have some more cleaning. You can optimize your phone, which is also pretty cool. Bam, there you go. Hopefully it saves you the battery that you want. I don't know why I got out of it. So, I mean, the features in there, it, it's pretty cool, but as overall, I mean, it has the water uh, resistance. It has the cameras that you look for. The front camera may, be, may need a little bit of work on it. I mean, it just has everything. The size of it is perfect. But, the you know, the themes are good. Yeah, I mean, I, I really, I'm really liking it. But, again, I only had it for 24 hours. But, I mean, look at, look at it. It's just, man. It's a nice looking phone. Does LG have a winner? They could, they could have a winner, but I, I think LG might still lose just because of the marketing on this phone. They just need to really work on that. But you know, if you're techie, if you're not, if you had the V20, I don't see why you wouldn't like the V30. It's just a little bit sleeker. It's a little bit um, quicker. I mean, look at the display. First time they're using the OLED display. I think it looks pretty good. Look, you can catch different angles with it. And so far, yeah, I'm liking it. Hopefully that doesn't change. Hopefully it doesn't start lagging on me and and everything else. But I'm still trying to set up stuff, go through all the um, the features that it does have, like the fingerprints and the locations and the memory. So definitely look for more videos. If y'all want any other videos, let me know. I'm going to do some comparisons as far as, you know, the cameras for the HTC U11 and the Essential Phone, like I said earlier. But definitely, you know, if y'all have any other videos, maybe even a gaming video. I mean, look at it. It is sleek. V30, LG. Definitely, I think LG has a winner on, winner on their hands. The marketing team, the sales might not show it, but to me, I think they will. As far as, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good phone. Will it beat out some of the other ones? I don't know yet. We will find out. But again, this has been Joseph. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.